Hi, Pailwan. Welcome to your reading. So, first we have the Justice. Knight of Wands. Five of Cups. And we have Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling like, first of all, okay, the message is clear that you didn't meet your future spouse yet because you are someone who is having high standards or at least someone who respects themselves, someone who values themselves. And I'm feeling like you do not like someone being on and off in a relationship, in a connection. You love committed relationship. You want a stable partnership. You want equal fair treatment in a connection. But I'm feeling like you are someone who is also very passionate, someone who is adventurous, someone who loves to explore. But with this Five of Cups, I'm feeling like there's this loss, disappointment, sadness, grief. Something that you are facing or something that you have already faced when it comes to your love life. So this makes sense that you didn't meet your future spouse yet. Those people were someone who didn't commit to you. It's like you are looking for someone who is going to treat you like an equal. But you also want that person to respect you equally as well as to develop a passionate connection with that person. Because if you notice, there's two cups here. And it is clear here that you didn't meet this person yet. Because... This person didn't come to your notice yet. But I'm feeling like currently at this moment, you are enjoying your freedom and independence. Currently at this moment, you are happily single or you are okay being single. You are not desperate to be in a relationship. But I'm feeling like you are currently at this moment more than emotional, being practical in choosing your life partner. Connection to nature. I'm feeling like the person that you are going to end up marrying is someone who is grounded down to earth. And currently at this moment, just like I was saying that, you are currently not emotional when it comes to choosing your life partner. You are staying practical and realistic as much as possible. You are trying not to get too much emotionally involved too quickly when it comes to dating someone and, and getting to know someone. That's how grounded you are currently at this moment. Yeah, but definitely for sure, the energy that I'm picking up from here is that your future spouse is going to be someone who is practical, realistic, grounded, down to earth. And that connection is also going to be realistic and practical. Even I'm feeling like both of you are going to enter into this relationship in this connection when you both are like, either like feeling secure, having stable finances or like working on your career and finances. Unless and until you both feel secure, you both won't be entering into a committed relationship. Because you want your relationship to build on a strong foundation. Wisdom. Yeah, I'm feeling like when it comes to your life partner or whom you are going to end up marrying, you are currently at this moment choosy and picky. And that's great. Because you do not want to settle down for anything less than what you deserve. Not only this, I'm feeling like your future spouse is also going to be someone who is wise as well. Someone who is deep. And also you are going to be having that deep conversation, deep connection with that person. But currently at this moment, I'm feeling like what you truly want is not a fleeting relationship, not casual connection, but you want a serious type relationship. And this is the reason why you are still waiting for your person to enter your life. Surrender to the divine. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like, okay, I'm feeling like when you both are ready, you and your future spouse as well, when you both are ready for marriage, when you both are ready to take responsibilities in marriage, when you both are ready to be in a serious relationship, that's when you both are going to enter into each other's life. It's basically like currently at this moment, the God, higher power, divine power, whatever you believe in, the God is preparing you both for this relationship, for this marriage, for this partnership. So you both are currently in that preparation phase. Okay, and when this preparation phase is over, you both are going to meet each other, healer of the ages. I'm feeling like the reason why you didn't meet your future spouse yet is because you have been healing yourself all this time. Like basically going through emotional healing. 
so that you both do not bring any negativity toxicity in this relationship in this connection just like i've mentioned that you want like both of you want your partnership your connection to be strong you both want your relationship to build on strong foundation stable foundation where both of you are secure both of you are optimistic where you both are not in that negative mindset where you both are not carrying any emotional baggage but you both are feeling secure strong confident when you both enter into this relationship that's why i mentioned that the god is preparing you both for this relationship for this marriage for this partnership god wants both of you to be ready ready for this relationship so you both have been healing yourself like basically doing emotional healing so that you both are ready for this partnership wait exactly i'm feeling like both of you are waiting and it's like it's basically like when the right time comes especially when you both are ready when both of your energies are in alignment with each other that's when you both are going to meet each other so basically both of you are currently in that waiting stage and soon enough you are going to be meeting this person basically i'm feeling like it's more in the near future you both are going to be feeling ready that now i'm ready now i'm prepared for this relationship for this marriage okay so that was all for pile number 1 thank you for watching if you liked today's reading and if this reading resonated with you then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos in the near future all right so bye for now see you in my next video hi pile 2 welcome to your reading first we have the hermit nine of wands eight of swords and the ace of cups okay good news for this pile is that although you are single currently totally single you do not have anybody in your life at this moment even though you are looking for a deeper connection a soulful connection not just deeper connection a soulful connection you just do not want physical attraction not just emotional connection not just intellectual connection but you want that spiritual connection that soulmate type of relationship that's what you are desiring the good news is that you are about to meet this person you are very close to meet this person because i'm feeling like you have been in this solitude and isolation for a long period of time you have chosen to be in solitude to be single all this time and i'm feeling like you have faced a lot of struggles delays setbacks in meeting the person the right person with whom you are going to end up with but you are almost there now the current thing is that you currently need at this moment that you need to do at this moment is to work on your fears anything that is like blocking you from opening your heart is is this fear it's mostly self limiting beliefs it's mostly your negative emotions it's mostly like bad thoughts basically this is something that you currently need to work on this is the last thing this is the one and only thing that you need to work on at this moment fear you should be bold and fearless at this moment only then this relationship is arriving very fast very soon because it is going to happen very fast in your life once you open your heart it's like once you are like yeah i'm emotionally available for someone i'm ready ready means i'm emotionally available this is that only thing that you need at this moment being emotionally available for someone because you ha already have been in solitude you were not available for anyone in the past but now i'm feeling like the time has come for you to be ready emotionally ready to connect to someone that's when you are going to meet your future spouse because again i'm repeating myself you are very close you are about to meet this person you are ready all is just that you have to do is to work on your fears let go of anything that is just blocking you to open your heart at this moment be bold be fearless be confident be courageous nothing will go wrong this time reinvention seems like all this time by going through this solitude and isolation you have reinvented yourself how maybe you have worked on your choices choices in love your choices in love has changed and improved over time maybe in the past you used to attract a lot of toxic people people who are like too rude controlling dominating but now i'm feeling like slowly all these are changing i'm feeling like while on one hand you are becoming someone who is independent financially independent as well as someone emotionally matured 
yet also someone ready to be in a relationship ready to experience that equal give and take in a relationship you are trusting that you do not have to close your heart anymore you have worked on your beliefs you have changed your relationship patterns you are done with your past you do not look back to your past anymore you are you are now a strong confident person you fully trust yourself you fully believe in yourself you value yourself you know your worth and values at this moment you are strong confident and that's the attitude that you need to maintain at this moment because totally you are on the right path group number 2 you are on the right path on this journey towards meeting this person and you are on the verge of meeting this person if you didn't meet this person already exactly openness so i'm feeling like currently at this moment you are open now open here doesn't mean that you are ready to choose anyone and everyone that's going to come your way so i'm feeling like that's where you are at this moment you are open open to whatever comes your way but the choice is yours whether you are going to select that person or not that's where you are currently at this moment when it comes to your love life when it comes to meeting your life partner and i'm feeling like currently at this moment you are totally and completely in tune and in touch with your intuition as well as your emotion you are ready intuitively is like your intuition will lead you towards this person that's why it's important for you to trust your intuition and to feel things because that feeling is going to lead you towards identifying your future spouse because the truth is why because you are currently at this moment representing this hermit you are the hermit here you want that soulful connection you just do not want that physical attraction you just do not want that mental connection you just do not want that emotional connection you want that soulful connection as well that is very important for you at this moment you want that soulful bond you want that soulmate kind of a relationship you need that deeper connection superficial connections won't be working for you anymore because you are someone who is deep that's who you are so that's when i'm feeling like you are ready to be open towards any opportunities that comes in but you are currently at this moment having a free will to choose that person or not that's why i'm feeling like your emotions how you feel for that person how you are connecting to that person and if your intuition is telling you that this is your future spouse or not is very important like that's where you are currently at this moment and it is crucial for you to keep trusting your intuition exactly have faith in your dreams it seems like somewhere i'm feeling like even though you are open minded at this moment you have kept your heart open or at least you are trying to do so somewhere you are feeling like you are not fully hopeful yet somebody were losing your hope sometimes all these negative thoughts negative beliefs are coming to your head just like the eight of swords that's why i've mentioned in the beginning that you need to currently at this moment work on your fears so keep faith in your dreams have faith in your dreams that your soulmate is out there that person is entering your life very soon so have faith that your dreams are going to come true about this relationship about this person because you already know that you are not going to choose anybody and everybody you are only going to choose that person with whom you share that deeper connection that deep soulful bond with whom you can connect only that person is your future spouse you already know that so trust that process attachment so i'm feeling like current at this moment whatever attachment you had towards your past towards anybody from your past towards anything you are currently at this moment working on this you are letting go of the old attachments so that this new person can enter your life so that you can open yourself up to this new person that's where you are currently at this moment then we have no need to worry exactly what you need to do is that just like i was saying to you you are very close to meet your future spouse because the cards are clear here that all you need to do at this moment is to just work on your fears because you already have been in solitude and isolation for so long you do not need to be in that stage in that period in your life anymore all you just need to do at this moment is to keep your heart open so that you can connect to someone at this moment it is very crucial for you at this moment to connect to someone only then you will be able to say that yes that's my future spouse so your message is that no need to worry you are very close to meet your future spouse you do not have to wait any longer just that do not worry okay currently at this moment you are too anxious you are overwhelmed you are feeling like everyone around you is getting married or they are already in a relationship with someone they are committed to someone they are with their soulmate but i haven't met my soulmate yet why is that so let go of these thoughts okay that's what you need to know 
Okay, so group number two, thank you for watching. If you liked today's reading and if this reading resonated with you, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos in the near future, alright? So bye for now, see you in my next video. Hi, Patri, welcome to your reading. Okay, first we have two of wands. Lovers. Six of wands. Hierophant. Okay. Okay. The message is clear here that okay, two messages I'm getting, you will take both because both will resonate with you. First message is that yes, you have already met your future spouse. But it seems like currently at this moment you are either like in a relationship with this person or you have just met this person or you are feeling like you are feeling an attraction, a strong attraction, a connection with this person. But somewhere you are feeling like this is the time to decide whether this is your future spouse or not or whether you are ready to be in a relationship with this person or not. Somewhere you are in that planning stage, you are that in that waiting period, you are contemplating on it. And it seems like if you have already met this person, because I'm feeling like you have already met this person, then this is the person that you are going to end up marrying because you have the hero here. And we have these six of wands. It's like a victory. It's like an achievement. So yes, you have already met this person. But if you didn't meet this person yet, there's a choice at this moment. Which, what is that choice? A choice to choose your life partner. A choice to leave behind your solitude and embrace this partnership, this relationship. Because the message here is strong that whomever you will choose at this moment, whomever you are going to meet at this moment, you are going to be ending up marrying with that person because the Hierophant card is strongly suggesting that this is the time to decide whether you are ready for a serious relationship or not. So even if you didn't meet this person yet, you are going to meet this person very soon. Light. Yeah, I'm feeling like you already know that you have already met your future spouse pile number three. But somewhere I'm feeling like either like you are completely not sure yet if this is your future spouse or not or like you need some light regarding this connection regarding this relationship it's like you want someone to illuminate you about this connection you want someone to tell you about this connection whether this is your future spouse or not you are headed in the right direction this is your future spouse if you have already met this person this is your future spouse now how will you know if this is your future spouse or not first message is that you are feeling very confident it's like you can recognize this person and you are feeling a strong admiration or connection towards this person. Even you are feeling like this person feels the same thing for you. But if you didn't meet this person yet, then definitely you are headed in the right direction. Voyage. It seems like for those who have already met this person, you are currently on a journey towards creating a solid, stable relationship with this person. So that's where the trust is coming. That's where you are going to or need to create that solid foundation, which means trust, loyalty, commitment is required for both of you to thrive in this relationship. And for others, I'm feeling like you are on a journey towards finding this person. It's basically like you are going through an inner journey. Inner journey means to decide whether you are ready for a serious relationship or not. And once you are sure of it, that's when you are going to meet this person. But I'm feeling like trust is very important for you to meet your future spouse as well as to turn this connection into something solid, something marriage-like. You are very close to achieving your goal exactly. It seems like for those who have already met this person, soon you are going to find out or figure out that this is your future spouse. Even if you didn't meet this person yet, you are very close to meet this person. Okay. Sun. Something like a birth of a new beginning for you, where you are feeling positive. And I'm feeling like you have been going through some personal growth so that you understand yourself better and choose your life partner wisely. So I'm feeling like this is the time period in your life where you are feeling confident. Just like the six of wands. You are feeling confident enough to be with someone. 
you are not feeling insecure you are not feeling like something or some fears are like holding you back you are not feeling like this anymore you are feeling ready and positive and optimistic that's where you are and this is going to help you attract your future spouse through this energy helpful people exactly so i'm feeling like you are not alone on this journey towards meeting this person first of all angels spirit guides are going to guide you towards meeting this person second message is that there are people who are going to help you find this person it can be friends it can be family it can be colleagues so through these people through these closed connections through your near ones dear ones you are going to find this person that's why you do not have to worry about meeting this person because you are is like either you are already in a relationship with this person or you are about to meet this person very close okay so that was all for pile number 3 thank you for watching if you liked today's reading and if this reading resonated with you then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos in the near future all right so bye for now see you in my next video Hi pile four welcome to your reading So first we have four of coins means four of pentacles six of swords five of pentacles three of wands okay what i'm feeling here is that slowly you are moving forward in life or moving forward from a situation where you have been holding yourself back is like you have been having tight boundaries around you you have been feeling insecure which makes sense with these five of coins that you have been feeling like you are not good enough for anybody either like you have been going through some financial problems or health problems or you are just not feeling good enough you have been feeling like maybe i want to uh, find my match but it seems like currently at this moment you are on the edge waiting for this person to arrive you feel like you are ready like slowly you are becoming ready because it is clear here with the six of swords that you are currently in transition now i'm feeling like there was a past which makes it clear with the four of coins that you have been holding on to someone tightly you had some past issues like you were very much possessive either or too much controlling something was there in your past due to which you were not being able to move forward or move on from these situations and that was blocking you from meeting your future spouse or blocking you from experiencing a healthy positive relationship also you have been feeling like you lack something that was also your issue but slowly i'm feeling like you are feeling ready you are on the edge waiting for a person to arrive so i'm feeling like even though you were involved with someone in the past i do not think that you have met your future spouse yet but with this four of coins i'm specifically feeling like you were determined you were stubborn enough to marry someone it's like you want that person but you were waiting for that better time to come when this relationship will thrive and will flourish or when this person is going to make that move it's like you just can't let go of this person you want this person you want to marry that person this is specifically for some of you not for everyone and that's where you are waiting for that person to either arrive or make their next move and you simply just can't move on from them renewal okay okay i'm feeling like for you guys there's a renewal in your love life currently at this moment which means there's this second chance to start from the scratch to feel things to feel your emotions to again date to romance to think about love that's your renewal that's where you are currently at this moment when it comes to your love life but for others exactly it was clear here with that for a pentacles that you are holding on to someone tightly it's like you can't just let go of that person you can't simply just move on from that person you want to marry that person you are stubborn at this moment regarding this connection regarding this person and that's where this renewal is coming it seems like okay two messages it seems like there's a renewal with a particular person for some of you for others you are finally letting go of whatever was holding you back whatever you have been holding on to tightly and looking forward to your future looking forward for the next step of your love life looking for that renewal in your love life you are ready for this new beginning relaxation i'm feeling like you are very chill at this moment but there's also another message i'm getting here is that currently at this moment you need to 
relax yourself you are too much into anxiety you need to read good books you need to sleep you need to relax you need to just take care of yourself means taking care of your emotional health mental health physical health sometimes it's like you currently at this moment need all those relaxation but also with this uh, some of you have already met this person and knowing this you are already relaxed because you already know that you have already met this person that's the message i'm picking up your commitment is being tested okay yeah it is it is clear here for some of you actually for most of you here there's a renewal with someone from your past now let me be clear this person like this is that only past person who is going to be your future spouse is not someone who was toxic who was abusive who manipulated you or who cheated on you this is not that toxic person with this renewal card it is giving me an indication that maybe both of you met before both of you crossed your paths before but due to some circumstances like for example let's say both of you had to focus on your career both of your finances were not good or stable or maybe one of you had to move abroad due to any reasons or anything related to this you both had to part your ways either like both of you were not serious before both of you didn't get into this relationship both of you didn't dated each other seriously before something happened and now currently at this moment you are again going to commit yourself to this person actually for most of you actually for most of you i'm feeling like it's someone it's someone you have already met you have crossed your paths with this person before and this person is again returning back to you and you are again going to recommit to this person that's where this renewal is also indicating here but if you feel like there was no one in your past then definitely for sure a commitment is coming is your second chance to be in a relationship to give your relationship a chance yeah rest and rejuvenation i'm feeling like for most of you you have been on a break with this person like both of you needed this time for yourself so that you both are feeling ready to be in a serious relationship with each other like relaxation rest and rejuvenation like all these are confirming me that someone definitely from your past is coming back and it's like that relationship was not toxic that person didn't abuse you that person didn't assaulted you that person like wasn't toxic at all you both didn't have any unhealthy behavior towards each other but something like a circumstance didn't go in your favor for both of you to be in a serious relationship and i'm feeling like that's where you both have been taking this break yeah look for a sign yeah 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 you have already met your future spouse you have already met your future spouse you look for a sign it seems like you need to currently at this moment look for a sign from the universe like ask the universe to give you a sign currently at this moment through anything it can be rainbow it can be ladybug it can be a bird it can be feather anything through any signs ask the universe to send you a message to send you a sign through anything through which you can confirm that this is your future spouse you have already met your future spouse i do not think that this renewal all this rest and rejuvenation is telling me that um you are going to be having a new relationship with a new person i do not think so it's something like a past person is returning back to you as a new person it's going to be a renewal in that relationship you have already crossed your path with your future spouse but i'm feeling like either you were not in a relationship with that person before or you didn't dated this person before seriously but now you are going to be dating this person with this intention of commitment you have already met this person okay so that was all for pile number 4 thank you for watching if you liked today's reading and if this reading resonated with you then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos in the near future all right so bye for now see you in my next video